The reflex is basically our tech that helps with latency. So like there's Dang. and so um so it's the original reflex, which is reflex in one, is it was it's 135 games. I think it's it's one of those in-game settings that's since set on. Um and it helps you produce like in situ. So if anyone wants to yes. try it, I can you know, let's do it. You got the best one. I don't think that's no problem. <laughs> Let's try wiggling the mouse around to see how like laggy you are. Mm -hmm. if you get yeah, what we And then hit L whenever you want. That's how I had a flight squad created by, you know, it goes to a problem. Yeah. Can you feel the difference? Yeah, it's, 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 it's less shady, it seems. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. um, so if you hit L one more time, you can switch to read my study. So James, I mean, oh, um, you feel that? Yeah. Yeah, so basically, if you look at the top left, we see that PCL yeah. there. Yeah. So that's our metric for responsiveness. You agree. Um, so this is Reflex 2, you're seeing 9 milliseconds at 100 FPS, which is pretty incredible. In 9 milliseconds, you probably round two 100 FPS. You get all nice, they have larger and more responsiveness you can make. So this should feel really good. It's still going to yeah. work the same in 100 FPS, that works. Um, but if you hit L again, you can go back to Reflex R. using I see what the like to see was the start. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Treat. So Reflex 1 basically um, runs this. solves an issue when you're... Your GPU is under heavy load. Your latency starts getting more to actually with your move. Um, a lot of people don't realize this. You might get high GPU load in some situation that's not out traceable. One, but really, your responsiveness is kind of all over the place. So Reflex 1 helps with some faults. Stabilize that. And then you're getting kind of the responsive house that you should have. Reflex 2 is our new tech that's coming to the finals in Valorant. And it tries to reduce your latency even beyond the yard and be past the 100 OBS. Well, good job. So this, you have technology called Brain Warring Soul, which is like, imagine if you're looking to the left, so we'll use, um, a, what we actually do what we just use, right before the frame is set to the modest, so the frame's already rendered, it's about to be set no matter or be, is that fine? Game tells us where your latest perspective is. It sees dark, so literally it'll tell us, oh, you moved to the left this much. And then we warp the party with our most match there. We... This is a technology that's normally used with VR headsets. If you can kind of move, mm, yeah. Like yeah. You move your head around, it kind of, you don't want to have to map for anything. Right? Quick and not scared us. Right. So what happens in VR headsets is because you look somewhere, and if nothing's rendered there, it'll just show blank space or whatever. Right. So that's kind of what we're doing here. So if you flick fast, it'll just kind of, if there's nothing there, it'll just show blank space, but at least it'll keep your perspective at its top. You know? And then we go back and we fill in all those bins. It's interesting. So you're actually seeing, I mean, at 100 FPS, it gets pretty hard to see the artifacts, but you can try to, you can try to mess it up and see. That's one of the things that we try to improve all this. So like, if you look them up, do you see any issues with it? Well, you might be talking, I must be really a each and character. No, I think so. Oh, wait, Metro. Yeah, so maybe, um, for Beats Giving. Uh, I mean, I mean, that's ideal, obviously. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> but basically, if you want to imagine it, so there might be like a, a strip here where the edge of the screen is white. Mm. Um, and then it kind of replicates what's to the right. So that's worst true. case, you would see just like tearing, like they like these on the edges. But for people who care about responsiveness, it's just raw to test out and custom to have it be more active. So you're at least knowing where you're aiming. Um, so yeah, is, is this uh, sold as an additional feature to gamers, or is it part of GPU? Wonders. It's part of all RTX GPUs. It's launching with Blackwell first, but then it's having the other watches, you know, where you can support it. Oh, it's amazing. So, yeah, it will come to all RTX GPUs. Okay. And it, Let's see. you mentioned on the Reflex one is optimized for certain ones as well. It's character. Um, 135 games. Yeah. 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 So, is Reflex 2 behind on the same trajectory? Like, Good. so the, it, it's like a separate integration. Yeah. So, you know, it, as the game to add it, we're trying to get it in as many games as, as wanted. Oh, so it's up to the developers to yeah. add it into the Is it backward compatible? Like the reflection can be upgraded to reflect it to all the sort of yeah. kind of make it. It's kind of like an additional level, I would say. Okay. It's, it's probably similar to Frame Gen, or, where Reflex 2 is the Frame Gen part, uh, and then Reflex 1 is the upscaling part. Yeah. You too, yeah. It ain't in the Well, I hate it.